What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Today, you guys are in for a treat. We have a super dirty, neglected Miata. For the past decade, for the past years, you guys seen this Miata in our background whenever we're shooting our YouTube videos. But now we're taking this opportunity to show you guys how to properly wash a car from scratch. A car that has been sitting, a car that has been collecting dust, where do you start? We're gonna start off with a wheel wash, but before we get into the detailing parts, I just wanna show you guys this time capsule. I mean, you guys can see it has a body kit, it has hood latches, it has chrome wheels, skinny tires, vents on the side. I mean, this is a time capsule. And before I forget, it also has a fire extinguisher, not just in case we catch it on fire, but because our videos are fire. So if we keep walking around, it has custom made mirrors, it has a sound system in it, it has custom tail lights. And I mean, a lot of people love it. I actually love it a lot. We're gonna show you guys how to probably start from scratch. Wheels, tires, then we're gonna move on to a foam wash, and like that, we'll be going on through the series. So anyways guys, let's get right into the wheels and we'll show you guys how to probably clean any type of wheels with one single cleaner and a storm of brushes. Let's get started. All right guys, to start off this detail on this Miata, we need to start from the wheels. As you guys can see, the wheel just has light grime, light debris, but the tires unfortunately are browning. And before we get into the body of the wash, we need to start off with the wheels. Besides this, we won't work double. Uh, before anything, how do you actually clean chrome wheels? Let's go over chrome. What ends up happening if you don't clean your chrome wheels? Over time, the brake dust is just gonna sit on it. It's going to penetrate the chrome wheels and over time, it's going to start pitting and then unfortunately, it's gonna have permanent damage. So this is why we always recommend constantly clean your wheels, add some type of protection, enhanced shine and protection. So like this, whenever you come in contact with brake dust, the brake dust just sits on top and over time, it won't embed itself in it. So as you guys can see, the tire is completely brown. The wheel has light dirt and grime. So how do I properly clean it? And the best way possible is going to be using Diablo Wheel Gel. So Diablo Wheel Gel is a concentrated formula and it's also pH balance cleaner that one, it's going to clean any type of wheel, whether you have matte, aluminum, anodized, chrome, and much more. You could use one cleaner to clean all types of wheels. And then we also dilute it into a secondary sprayer bottle. As you guys can see, it's a 32 ounce bottle. It has a ducky sprayer head. So whenever I click the trigger, it's actually going to foam up. And whenever I get my sorb and a brush, it starts scrubbing the face of the wheel, the barrel, it's going to have much more lubrication. So like this, I'm never going in dry. So it also has dilution ratios on the side. So if you're not good at diluting, just go to a three to one, the rest with water. And by this, you have a perfect dilution every single time. This is the Rim Packa wheel brush. The Rim Packa wheel brush actually comes with three different brushes, a big one, a medium one and a small one. In this occasion, we only need the big one because the big one's going to fit perfectly on the barrel and it's going to help me scrub it down. It has synthetic wool on it and then the synthetic wool is not going to harm nor scratch. You could also use it on your car, your interior, such as your dust in your dashboard, you clean your vents, you clean your grills, you can clean your exhaust tips and much more. So then to clean the face, we'll actually be using the wheelie wheel brush. It has flag bristles, so the bristles are actually going to open up whenever you're pushing down on the wheel. And whenever you agitate it using Diablo Wheel Joe, it's going to foam up amazing. And then to get into the nitty gritty parts, we actually have the boris hair detailing brush. The boris hair detailing brush is going to help me get into the nooks and crannies where unfortunately my wheelie wheel brush doesn't fit. And then just to take off the browning effect off this tire, we're actually going to be using the nifty brush. The nifty brush, as you guys can see, it is the perfect size for this low pro tire. And then to avoid scratching and swirls, we're actually going to be using our dirt trap. The dirt trap has cyclonic filters on the back that's going to prevent any brake dust, road grime, debris, filth to rise back up while you're detailing your wheel or even your car. We always recommend using it on the body of your car and on your wheels. Always insert a dirt trap at the bottom of your bucket so that this you reduce scratches and swirls. So all you need to do is just insert your brushes into your bucket. So just sink them in there. And then just so we have added lubrication, we'll actually get our Diablo wheel gel. Our Diablo wheel gel is going to add lubrication so I add one to two ounces of Diablo wheel gel inside my bucket and then I already have my ProFlow PM2000 hooked up. In the background, I'm actually going to be using the short wand. It's simple how to remove the short wand. All you gotta do is push and twist and then like this you could add the long lance to it. But in this occasion, since I'm in a tight area, I went ahead and chose to go with the short wand. Just like this, I make sure I don't hit anything. I have everything under control. Whenever I get to the body, I will be shooting with a long wand to just rinse the car down, get all the nooks and crannies, get over the hood so I won't have to be walking around constantly. So in this occasion, we're dealing with the wheels, so we're gonna be using the short wand. So before anything, you always want to rinse down the face of the wheel and tires just so you can knock off any loose grime and debris. It's going to help you out a lot. So like this, you don't have caked on dirt or filth sitting on the wheel or tire whenever you go to scrub it. So just simply rinse it down. And after rinsing it down, you can still see there's still some browning effect on the tires and the wheel still has light grime and debris. Now we'll scoot over to our uh, Diablo wheel gel bucket and then we'll just activate the suds. 
So that's a pro tip for you. Whenever you're dealing with Diablo wheel gel, you could go ahead and dilute into a bucket and then it's going to actually add lubrication. It's going to foam up on you. So then in my secondary spray bottle, I'll just simply spray it on the face of the wheel and barrel and tire. So I want to be very generous. I don't want to scratch these wheels. I don't want to harm them, but it's very simple to clean wheels. How do you actually start? The face, the barrel, the details. So we're gonna start with the face, which is going to be using the Willy Wheel Brush. I'll get some suds and I'll start scrubbing it. And as you guys can see, Diablo Wheel Gel foams up amazing. If I go back, get more suds, it foams up amazingly. The one, thing, one key thing that I love about Diablo Wheel Gel, it's actually pH balanced. So for anybody that has hydro spin on your wheels, that has max coat wheel guard, it's not going to remove them. It's going to actually just help it clean. So like this, your coating never gets harmed. So once you're done with the face, we're gonna be moving on to the barrel with the rim pack of wheel brush. The rim pack of wheel brush, always start at the top to prevent working double. Make your way down. And you can see the rim pack of wheel brush fits perfectly in the back of this barrel. And whenever you're done and you need more suds, go back to your wheel bucket, get more suds, and continue to clean the face of the wheel. And let's just talk about this car. So back in the day, everybody knows that when you started watching some type of car movies, you've seen cars with body kits, you've seen cars with vents, and cleaning this car is actually a pleasure to me because I was a big fan of that. Uh, but nowadays, the car scene has changed, but cleaning this time capsule, I mean, it takes me back to my days. So we got the face, we got the barrel, now it's time to get into the details. So I'll actually get, just get a little bit more Diablo wheel gel, spray it on, and then I'll get my boar's hair detailing brush, and then I'll just start agitating the details just so I can make sure this wheel is completely clean, has no more dirt, no more grime. So whenever it goes back into storage, or whenever you guys see it back in our videos, it's completely clean, it has no more dust, no more grime, no more debris on it, and it's actually showing the true pop that it once had, and it should always have. But we always store it away, and you guys always ask us to clean it, so this is why we're taking a step back from cleaning other cars today, and we're actually gonna take you guys back into time by cleaning this car. So we got the face, we got the barrel, we got the details, so just to top it off, we're going to clean out the tire with our nifty brush. I go to my tire and I should start scrubbing it back and forth just so I can make sure I remove any previous tire dressings this thing ever had or any dirt or grime. So whenever I come back to apply a tire dressing, it's actually going to bond properly. It's not going to fill over time and like this, it always looks good at every single given time. So I just finished scrubbing the tire. I finished scrubbing the face of the wheel. Now I'll put my bucket off to the side with my products and I'll just rinse it off and I'll show you guys the big before and after. There you guys have it. I mean, check out the tire. The tire is no longer dirty. It is now clean. The face of the wheel, the barrel, everything is now clean. Now it's time for me to finish up the three wheels. And then once I'm done with the rest of these wheels, we're gonna get into the foam wash on this bad boy because this bad boy needs to be brought back to its glory and it's back to its shine. So anyways guys, let me finish up these three wheels and I'll get back to you guys with the foam wash. Right, guys so we just finished cleaning up the 17s now it's time to clean up the body but we're, before we get into the clean up the body of this car we need to start off with our two bucket method set up our big mouth max use foam cannon but remember before i told you guys i'm actually going to be switching out the lance on this pressure washer so all you need to do is just push down and twist and then i'll be getting my long lance 
push down and twist. So I just have a longer lance. And whenever I walk over to the surge of the vehicle, even though it's tiny from one side, I could still do the whole entire side. But as always, you need to always have a pressure washer tip. So whenever you're dealing with pressure washer tips, all you want to do is just pull back on the sleeve, put it in, push it down. And once it's already clicked, then that's when you can start rinsing on the surface of your car. Pro tip, always make sure your tips are always in. So like this, you avoid it flying off whenever you're detailing your ride. So let's get right into the two bucket method. The two bucket method is going to consist of having clean water and uh, soapy water. But in this occasion, before we get into setting our bucket, we're gonna set up our big mouth max release foam can. So how do you actually set it up? It's fairly simple. One, you want to fill it up with water. Two, let's just go over the features real quick. It has a big blow bezel that's going to allow you to adjust the fan, whether you want it super wide, super narrow. So like this, you have a big Ford Transit or a Raptor or a small car, you can foam it up at any given time. Up top, it actually has a foam adjustment knob. So the foam adjustment knob is fairly simple to use. If you twist it all the way to the left, you're gonna have more water coming out and less soap. If you want shaving cream like soap, like how we do on our YouTube video, just twist it all the way to the right. And like that, you are going to be shooting shaving cream like foam. Then we made it super easy to dilute all your soaps in it. So if I remove the top, and get my choice of soap, which is going to be Sticky Snowball. I went with Sticky Snowball today because I want something that's going to cling hard onto the dirt and grime. So whenever I grab my big noodle wash mitt and glide across the surface of the car, it's not going to scratch. So I'll open up the spout. I'll go to my foam cannon, add one to two ounces of soap in it. I'll get my big mouth head back on it, twist it all the way on. After you put your one to two ounces of soap inside your big mouth max use foam can, all you want to do is just stir it just so you could probably mix it with water. And then you'll put your big mouth off to the side. And now it's time to insert our dirt traps. So like I told you guys, when we were cleaning the wheels, we always recommend having dirt traps at the bottom of your buckets. So that should prevent scratching and swirls or any harm to the surface you are cleaning. So now I'll grab my sticky snowball. I'll add one ounce into my wash bucket. By adding one ounce into my wash bucket, it's going to allow me to have more lubrication whenever I'm gliding my chenille wash mitt or my big noodle wash mitt on this occasion. I went with the big noodle wash mitt is because I want more coverage on this car. Just check out how big it is. I'm not going to put it down on it because it is super dirty and dusty. So I actually do not want to put it down. But having this big noodle wash mitt, it's going to allow me to get more coverage around the whole entire car. And it's going to help me glide it much more easier. It also comes with premium noodles on it that's going to trap dirt, grime, filth, and it's going to prevent scratches and swirls. So now all I'll do is just sink it at the bottom of my wash bucket. And then it is time to start off by rinsing out the surface of the car. Once we rinse it down, then we'll get into the foam cannon wash. But let me just tell you guys why we always recommend rinsing out the surface of the car. It is because if I was just to start off by foaming up the surface of the car, and then I grab my chino wash mitt, all the dirt, grime, debris that did not come off, it's going to tend to scratch. So a key point that we always like to do is always start off by rinsing the surface of the car from top to down because this car actually sat under SJ and it has all this fallout on top of the roof and the hood. So by rinsing it down, we're gonna make sure we remove everything safely as possible. We'll foam it up, scrub it down, rinse it again, and like this, we achieve a scratch-free wash. Anyways, guys, let's get started. All right guys, so we just finished rinsing on the surface of the car. Now we're moving on to the foam cannon wash and it's fairly simple to do. All you want to do is just pull back on your sleeve and then you'll be attaching your Big Mouth Max Release foam cannon to it. So pull back on the sleeve, put your Big Mouth Max Release foam cannon on, make sure there's a click and now it's time to start foaming. All right, guys, you guys can see the amazing job that Sticky Snowball did on foaming up and covering this car with tons of stuff for added lubrication. So now I'll remove my big mouth Max foam cannon, get my pressure washer tip, 
reattach it, push down on it, activate my suds, and now it's time to get scrubbing. So I'll put my wand off to the side, I'll get my big noodle washman, I'll put my hand inside, and now I'll go to the top of the vehicle and start scrubbing in linear motions to prevent scratches and swirls because this car has tons of dirt, grime, debris that was sitting on the surface of the vehicle and over time I don't want it to get caught on my big noodle wash mitts and then I start going in circular motions and I get more scratches and swirls than a clean car. So always go in linear motions to prevent scratches and swirls like this. You have a scratch free wash because if you guys didn't know, 90% of scratches and swirls actually come from washing imperfections. So once you're done, you'll come to your rinse bucket, you'll sink your wash mitt at the bottom, scrub it on the dirt trap, pull it out, wring it out, inspect it, and continue washing. Like this is a quick pro tip for you guys on how to probably wash a car to prevent scratches and swirls. So I finished that side of the car. Now I'll go to this side of the car. And as you guys can see, I am working from top to bottom to prevent working double. And always work in linear motions. And as you guys can see, after that pass, I have dirt and filth. So obviously I don't want to put that dirt and filth back onto the car. So I'll flip it back over, scrub in linear motions, and we're going to inspect our washman after. You guys can see how much filth is actually coming off of this Miata onto this big noodle washman. So let me just do this procedure around this whole entire car. And once it's time to dry, I'll show you guys exactly how to dry your car properly using our woolly mammoth because we always get tons of comments saying, can one towel dry up a whole entire car? And I'll show you guys that yes, it can. So I'll meet you guys when it's time to drive this car. finished rinsing on the surface of the car and now it's time to do the inspection. So up front we do have some type of water beading. The roof does not have any type of water beading and the trunk and the fenders actually have completely water dry. So I want you guys to come close. Just look at this. This is what you do not want on the surface of your car. The water is just dragging. It is not going anywhere. You want some type of beading. So simplify your drying steps using Lucent Spray Shine. So Lucent Spray Shine can also be used as a drying aid. So all you need to do is go to the surface, spray it onto the surface, and you can see immediately is reducing water tension from the paint and the water, so simply helping it glide right off. Then you get your Woolly Mammoth, and you can use it many different types of ways. One, you can fold it, or two, you can just put it down, massage it, pat it down, come to the front, pull it away and just like that you get a dry surface instantly using the woolly mammoth so we always get this comment on our youtube videos our social media how do you wring this out and the key point is once it's already fully saturated and it already has its gallon of water put it off to the side let it dry or dry it yourself with low heat and then reuse it next time it's the same thing as a drying towel whenever you're drying yourself you're not wringing it out constantly once it's already soiled you put it off to the side you get a neat drying towel so that is how you actually clean your towels. If you actually want to clean it in your washing machine, you guys will see a pop-up right now. You can use microfiber wash. So like this should keep your towels soft, clean, and plush. So go to the surface, spray Lucent, spray shine. And like this, by using Lucent spray shine, you are not only just helping it dry, but you're also adding synthetic gloss intensifiers that Lucent spray shine has. And like this, you prevent scratches and swirls. You have more lubrication and you are drying your car fast and easy. For everyone that does not have filtered water and you want to reduce water spots, I always recommend using Solucent Spray Shine. So anyways guys, this was a time capsule video. It brought us back into our time. Everybody knows our favorite movie. It starts with an F. But anyways guys, if you guys like this video today, don't forget to give us a huge thumbs up. If you guys want to see more videos like this, time capsules, throwbacks, drop a comment down below. Let us know exactly what was your favorite car back then or now. And as always, you guys want to pick up any of these products that I use today from buckets, towels, loose and spray shine. Everything you've seen in this video, you can find on our website right on chemicals.com or stop by local detail garage. We have over 90 detail garage locations across the globe, including Canada and the UK. As always, I'm Henry, and thank you for sharing your passion shine with Chemical Guys.